Despite the shelling by Russian hybrid forces, service people of the Ukrainian armed forces and representatives of local authorities continue to create secure conditions for the residents of Tranevle and Slodosove in eastern Ukraine. Their first priority was restoring electricity, which had been cut off in attacks by Russian-backed militants. Currently, the state emergency service gave us a diesel generator, which allowed us to restore power to the whole village. Buses go twice a day. We are constantly positioned in this location. We are treated friendly, and they thank us for our help. Shelling is not the only danger caused by the Russian militants. With their local economies and infrastructure damaged by war, hunger is as real a problem as enemy fire. In villages in the east, Ukraine service people are ready to step in with needed supplies. When the locals come, we give them potatoes, carrots and grain. Two small children live here and we give them condensed milk, tangerines, candy and bread. We always get beef and sardines. We hope that at least for some of the time we will be able to support people with these provisions. Diapers, baby food, the military get me anything I ask for. They're really helpful. Russian propaganda would have people believe that Ukrainians in the east are being forced from their hometowns by Ukrainian government authorities, that they are oppressed by their government, and that they desire to be made citizens of the so-called Donetsk People's Republic. Talking to the locals, however, it is clear that this is far from the truth. They have lied that I was allegedly taken to be killed. Who said this? Whose work is it? Ukrainian journalist made a truthful report and the Russians changed it and distorted the information. How did they know about this? They also watch the TV and then they use our footage distorting the reports. Just beyond the horizon, the militants are in position, along with their vehicles and armaments. Residents of the villages cannot easily forget this, but the servicemen and women of Ukraine are determined that they will not live in the shadow of Russia forever.